Hey, in this video, I want to show you guys how to actually make money with Lovable, right? Because everyone online talks about how you can make the next billion dollar SaaS idea with Lovable or any other AI coding tool. And then they just proceed to show you how to make like a to-do list or a Kanban board. And it's true that there's a few people who manage to build and monetize a very successful SaaS uh, with these types, these, these AI tools. But trust me, they are the exception. Everyone else posting on X or YouTube is just talking about what you could do with it not actually going out there and building any kind of monetizable asset or skill with from it, you know? So that's why I'm making this video. I want to show you guys two real world practical examples on how to actually monetize not just lovable itself, but the, the skill of vibe coding, right? So let's jump into it. Uh, the first idea is something I've seen pop up quite a lot on Twitter on X is building an MVP agency. Uh, MVP agency is exactly what it sounds like. It's a agency where just built minimum viable products for other people. Uh, you get yourself a nice little website, uh, add a little bit of testimonials, little reviews, a little bit of what you can do. Um, you can take a look and you can price it here at 3.5K to 2.2K. In this case, pricing uh, for one-time projects is 3.5K. And then you can also charge for monthly ongoing support. And you just build these minimum viable project apps for other people, just building these MVPs. Um, check out Cream Digital. These guys are also killing it. I have a whole full VSL and everything on here. Um, I would really suggest just studying what everybody else is doing. Just look up on X MVP agency and you'll find a couple examples just like these ones. Uh, you'll find what you should price it at. It's around like two to 3,000 maybe. If you want to do a little more premium, you'd go around 5,000. But two to 3K I think is uh, the ideal spot here. We can just make a super basic um, concept of an app for somebody else. And these guys are making 32,000 a month, 6.3K per month. This guy made 250,000 in two months, right? And they're just publicly posting all these results on X. Be sure to check it out. I'll link this uh, document in the description if you want to take a look. But yeah, the concept of itself is pretty simple, but I want to show you how to actually make this work and actually get clients. Uh, now, the reason this works is that even though these SaaS, uh, like AI tools exist and they make creating a SaaS very, very simple and easy now, there are still plenty of people who still don't know how or want to learn how to do this. You know, they just want to be the idea guy. They just want to be the marketing guy. They just want to be the guy who gets the funding and they just need some kind of MVP to get their idea off the ground. And it's much more cost effective to hire you for one to 5k in two weeks to build a basic MVP using an AI to, uh, code editor versus a normal developer that would cost them 20 to 40 grand and take like you know, two, three months to create this MVP. So the obvious choice is just to hire you. And as an added bonus with all these projects you're doing for other people, you are gaining the skill of how to use these tools and once, and you're getting paid to do it. So once you're ready to build your own stuff, you're going to be great at it. And now it's one thing just to tell you to go make an MVP agency, but I'll show you how to realistically get clients. The first thing that you want to focus on is to not decide to build the end use agency, make a website, get social media, spend two months choosing a domain, and then pretend to get work done. Like, don't do this. Your only goal, if you decide to do this, is to get your first client as soon as possible. That's why I've included the top ways to get clients for this right now that it will work even if you are like a nobody in the middle of nowhere with no connections, you don't know nobody, nobody knows you, you will still be able to land clients easily with this. The first method is gonna be Upwork. You would be surprised how many job listings there are for MVPs. I'm pretty sure they're getting listed literally like every th five, like yeah, 30 to 40 minutes. Everybody needs an MVP built. Uh, you can start applying to all these jobs straight away and obviously the downside of platforms like this is that 99% of it is filled with Indians and spammers uh, who are just like mass applying to jobs, not reading the description, nothing. That's why it's gonna be very easy to win like most jobs you apply for. If you, number one, apply as quickly as possible. And then number two, in your application, just record a Loom video of you talking to the client, reading his job description out and saying how you would go about building it. You would explain step by step, make it like three for four minutes. You can even build this more like mock-up or example uh, SaaS with, you know, Lovable to give them an idea of what you can design for them. 
and just send it to them. And you will immediately stand out compared to everybody else. If you want like a full example, I might make another video talking about how to do this. But yeah, most of these jobs are like five to a thousand bucks. Start applying to a couple of them. If you just do this every single day, send like 10 Loom videos out every day, you will land clients. It is it is impossible for you to not do. Now, number two, uh, I would be Fiverr. It's not as, uh, you're not gonna get as many clients from it as like with Upwork, but they are currently pushing the whole AI development category on the platform and there's not that many sellers on it. So what I would do is just make a bunch of uh, AI uh, gig listings on Fiverr and just let them sit there. And eventually s somebody's gonna order them because there just isn't enough to, uh, supply for the demand that there is. Uh, and I would just passively get some clients here and there. And once you get some reviews and stuff, it will start ranking and it will be easier and easier to get clients. As but I wouldn't really uh, think that Fiverr is like the main method, the method to get clients if you're just starting out. Uh, number three is just posting on X or just on social media in general, because the way all of these guys got their clients, now they scaled to, you know, 32,000, 6.3, 250K, they all were just posting on social media what they're doing with Lovable, what they're doing with a cursor, what they're doing with AI, what they're doing with uh, AI tools, what they're creating, what type of apps they're making. They're just posting and documenting what they were doing. And eventually people just started reaching out to them, asking them to build their ideas for them. And then they just start charging for it and build their agency. Once you've done these three methods, or at least these two, two main ones, I would highly, highly suggest getting to just paid advertising. That's what uh, Cream Digital, the example that of the guy who did 250K in two months, he already mastered all of this. He has the social proof, he has the skills, he's got uh, case studies and clients. Now he started making ads showing, hey, we create uh, MVP projects for this and much for uh, in just two weeks, book a call and let's get your project off the ground. And, you know, sure, maybe it'll cost you like, you know, 500 bucks, let's say, to book a client, uh, like close a client off of Facebook ads. But if your service is priced at like $5,000, you're still making hell of a profit. And not only that, it's a completely blue ocean because besides this guy who's just he, he just started running ads nobody else is doing this in general uh, paid advertising is like super rarely talk about, talked about in the whole SaaS indie hacker developer bubble and i don't know why because i come from e-commerce background and ads is, ads is like the lifeblood of the industry and here everybody just wants to like post organically and pray for to get lucky but with ads you don't have to pray, pray to get lucky you just create an ad talk to your ICP, spend 50, 100 bucks on it and see what sort of response you get in less than 24 hours, right? The same amount of work of manual posting everywhere and reaching out to people will take you literally weeks, if not months to do. So yeah, hopefully that got you like gears turning and got you a couple ideas of what you should start doing. Uh, but the next idea is like what everybody tells you, which is creating your own micro SaaS. But I wanna expand on this in a little bit and give you like practical, ideas on how to go about it because i see a lot of people doing the same mistakes mistakes of being of building tools which either nobody wants or meant for other builders and that's just not how you capture you know the open market now include a couple examples here of super basic SaaS which are making money for example excel excel exercises is just a website which gives you uh, excel shortcut exercises that's that's it you know, you can, you can build this in literally one prompt. Uh, and they're making $6,000 a month. They posted on Starter Story if you guys want to read the story. I'll link the coda in the, in the description if you guys want to read all these links. Bank Statement Converter, exactly what it says. It's literally, it literally has a singular function of converting bank statements into Excel. That's it. Online Solitaire, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just online solitaire. <laughs> and these guys are making $15,000 a month. And then Uform is a little bit more advanced, but it's basically just type form stripped down to its bare bones and priced at 29 bucks, which most of it being free. Just a few features that it's charged for. And these guys are making how much? Nine thousand dollars a month. Right? I'm not gonna show I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you in this video how to like go about building these tools because there is unlimited free tutorials on there. I'm sure you can manage. And if you're ever confused, you literally just go to AI and you just ask, hey. How do I build this? What do I need to build this? And I'll tell you. Then you just take that into Lovable and just ask it to build it. That's it. You know, you don't need a tutorial, you need anybody to help you out. Just literally just talk to the AI. Now, the real, uh, you know, meat and potatoes here is going to be how to come up with a SaaS idea and how to make money with it. 
Uh, and number one, to how to come up with good SaaS ideas, how I found these ones, for example, is to just start looking through other winning SaaS products on X, Story Story, Reddit, you know, etc. that you can just copy. Trust me, the market is big enough for multiple versions of the same tools to exist. And even if you think like the market is too saturated, there's like you can't possibly get going to it. You can just translate the product, bring it to a new country, new market, and it'll still grow. Like imagine you made a Typhoon competitor for the Spanish market or the French market. It, like it will make money. Trust me. Number two is what I mentioned with the youth firms, for example, which is finding uh, ex successful existing large companies, for example, DocuSign and Typeform, that are super expensive and just clone one hyper-specific feature from them into its own micro SaaS that you can sell at a discount. Because uh, let's take a look at Google Trends here. Look at Google Trends. Uh, because if you take a look at uh, Google Trends for the keyword free DocuSign, you'll see how massive it is getting. And it's the same for all other, you know, big, uh, bulky, expensive software that these big companies, you know, they're charging thousands per month for it, for something super basic. Uh, you can just replicate with AI in literally a weekend. Now, once you have all these ideas, uh, put them all on a list and just give them to your AI to come up with other alternative ideas similar to them, right? If, if, if you have the bank statement converter, you can just ask AI, give me other uh, SaaS converter ideas for other industries. You know, maybe there's like some kind of specific software doctor used that need converting some kind of files, some kind of PDF uh, optimizer for lawyers or something, you know? Make it hyper-specific for a different industry, for a different niche, for a different market, for a different audience, for a different country, for a different language, right? And again, with these products, um, I re you really shouldn't overcomplicate this. Just find something good enough and just start building it. With AI, like you can finish a basic MVP of your product in less than a day, really. And you start, you can bring to the market and focus on getting the users. Now, how to actually get the users? Because this is the thing nobody apparently talks about on YouTube or on X or anywhere, which is basically 99% of the work. You know, having a decent idea is number one. And then number two is actually being able to market it and bring the user because the users will not come. I don't know who said that, oh, just build a good product and the users will come. That is statistically false. That will not happen. If you don't know how to market your product, nobody will ever find it and you will never make money. Now, number one is posting organically. This is the advice everybody in the tech space preaches and tells everybody to do, which is, you know, linking your SaaS in directories, Reddit, comments, writing articles about it, posting on social media, etc. And then you do all this work for the next four months and you just pray, uh, finally, somebody finds it, you get like six users and somehow goes viral. You know, that's, that's the strategy here. The only one of these strategies that's decent, in my opinion, is if you're gonna actually go hyper uh, hyper into content of just posting, you know, blog articles or uh, TikToks, something on those those lines, and you actually do it at mass scale, then sure it will work. But that is super duper difficult in my opinion. That's really difficult to do, unless you have you know money to invest uh, on some kind of super cool automations, uh, or you pay some you know some kids or Indians to do this for you. It's super difficult. Now what I would recommend is getting to paid advertising. If you build a decent enough tool, uh, maybe, you know, that's something like a bank statement converter, something a bit more advanced, like a U, like a U form or some kind of document competitor, you know, something on those, those lines, which has, you know, logins, pricing, plans, etc. I would really just suggest you getting paid advertising, right? Either you can sponsor influencers to talk about your tool, or you can hop on Facebook ads. You can make a little campaign for 50 to 100 bucks, spend it in, in 24 hours, and you would immediately understand if the market wants your product or not, because you will immediately make sales or not make sales. Like it's, it's baffling that people would rather, you know, spend months and weeks of their life trying to post everywhere, be social, do all this work when they can just spend 50 bucks and know the answer if people want to buy their product. Now in this video, I don't, I'm not going to show you how to uh, go about launching the ads, but if you are interested in learning about that, leave a comment. I'll make a full video down below. Or if you want to work with me directly uh, on like marketing or SaaS, then reach out to me on X and I'd love to help you out. Uh, hope you guys like this, my first video. Uh, subscribe and you'll see more. Okay, awesome. Thanks for watching and see you guys next one.